everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a full self-driving video here on our personal Model Y. This is the new update from Tesla, the 13.2.8 uh, full self-driving update that they came out with about a month ago. We just got our Model Y here just a few days ago, so we're doing a uh, full self-driving, and this one is really cool because it actually has the start full self-driving from um, park there. So I'm gonna start full self-driving. It's gonna pull out of my driveway, and then we're driving about 16 miles here uh, to our destination and we're gonna see if I have to uh, you know take control of the vehicle it's gonna pull out of our neighborhood and everything here and uh, it's kind of a funny statistic my wife has been driving this car for a few days now and I did a, a look at the statistics and 85% uh, of her driving is actually in full self-driving so she's really really enjoying full self-driving and um, you know that's a really big thing for her because she uh, you know she really doesn't really like that the steering wheel and everything's driving by itself so it's really uh, a cool thing that she's actually using it so much so let's drive it all we're gonna do is we set our destination already up here we're now going to then uh, start full self driving and then tap brake to confirm and now it's going to then drive out of my driveway here uh, and then take us out to our destination here so it's kind of uh, thinking right now because this is a gravel driveway this is kind of something I want to see uh, it, how it would handle because it's a gravel driveway there is really no um, defined lines or anything on this driveway and it took it well it did great we have pretty deep ditches on our side there and uh it handled the drive incredible so uh that's uh that's a really good thing now kind of to up here to a stop sign and um inside here we have uh it's basically you know they say it's the speed limit 25 no one goes 25 through here so i wanted to kind of see how that takes uh driving around the neighborhood as well good stop uh good uh good takeoff here from the stop sign speeding up and out it's going 25 um, not the end of the world there the good news is this uh, this system I'm sure sees uh, further out than I can with my own eyes so that's a good thing if any kids or anything are out here I'm sure I could see it coming up to the next stop sign here you may hear our kids in the background there we got all three of our kids with us here we're going to uh, nightly uh, church programs here on, on Wednesday. So, um, you know, got all the kids with us and everything, which uh, makes it a little bit fun. Coming up to uh, to the main drag here. And once we get on the main drag, I'm going to then speed the camera up, speed the video up there, probably about 400%, uh, somewhere in that range there, just to uh, to make this drive go by a little bit uh, faster than, uh, than the 25 minutes that it's going to take us to get there. So... Uh, again, good stop. Uh, no traffic or anything coming down these back roads, so uh, you know it makes it really easy for the uh, the full self driving system to oh. to drive. Now, one thing I will say real quick before we get back on the speeding up the footage, I will say that it really does. You got to sometimes pay attention to the speed because uh, it is actually 35 in here, and so it only wants to go 25. So let's uh, speed this up to 35. Uh, I think the speed limit here is 30, uh, 25. Um, back row understandable but one thing I will say is on turns me and my wife actually both commented about this and driving over the past few days it stays in its lane perfectly I mean it's it is incredible how sharp it will take a turn and uh, and stay in its lane completely perfect so uh, a really 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 good job by Tesla and their tuning and uh, just an overall really good enjoyable experience experience in full self-driving so let's drive it all the way there and uh, I'll stop the video footage from speeding up if we have to uh, kind of stop and do anything with full self-driving but let's speed the footage up and we'll see you at our destination hopefully with no brakes no stops no nothing like that taking control
All right, so we're about uh, eight or nine miles into our trip there, about 10 minutes. And uh, overall, the, the full self-driving system has done incredible. Uh, now these are back roads, so they're not really difficult roads to go on. And you may have seen me touch the steering wheel a few times there. That wasn't because I was touching the steering wheel because of uh, anything to do with it actually not failing or not, or not doing what it's supposed to be doing. I ended up touching the steering wheel a few times just to uh, change the speed up and down a little bit. When it hits a stop sign, it likes to slam on the brakes uh, from like, you know, let's give you an example. I just went from 35 down to 25 and uh, it immediately hit on the brakes there to try and, um, and get it to slow down there. So sometimes I'll speed up a little bit just to make it more gradual. So that'd be nice if they, uh, they did do this. Now, this is an interesting situation here. Uh, we have a Dollar General truck here uh, that uh, seems to made a really tight turn and is not able to make that turn actually. So uh, they're holding up this four-way stop there and uh, now trying to back up and uh, and get back on the road here. He's gonna have to go up and make a U-turn at a bigger place. Uh, but these uh, these turns, uh, the buildings are right on the on the stop signs and stuff. They're, they're really, really tight there. So it's really tough for tractor trailers to get down these back roads because um, they're just really, really tight there. So he got out and um, now we're moving along. So got a four-way stop. Uh, this is kind of interesting though because there's a good bit of traffic now at this four-way stop. Uh, now I say traffic, we live on the eastern shore of Maryland. So, you know, uh, traffic for us is a, is a tractor and a, and a chicken maybe running across the field, but uh, running across the road. But uh, there is a, quite a few people now I want to see it. Uh, so technically we were the next one to stop and it's going to take it. it. Did a good job. I mean, that's smooth. Uh, it saw that everybody else stopped before uh, or after us there and it took the took the shot. So hey, uh, no no stuttering there at all. I was getting ready to uh, to push on the accelerator if I need to, but I didn't. Uh, so good job Tesla on that. So we're gonna then now cruise through uh, this little town here and then uh, get on to a 50 mile per hour road, but there is a merger there, a really short merge lane uh, to get on that 55 mile per hour. Again, there's usually not a ton of traffic, but there could, there is sometimes one or two cars passing by that you got to either slow down for or speed up a little bit for. So let's see how Tesla does that. We're going to speed up until we get to that merger lane here in about a half a mile. Right, so we're in a 40 mile per hour sign uh, now, a 40 mile per hour zone. Now I'm going to speed up a little bit because I have a truck that's riding my tail, but we're only going 29 in that 40 mile per hour zone. Um, I'm not assume, I'm not sure why Tesla wanted to uh, slow down there a little bit, but it did and wanted to stay the course. Now maybe it's because it knows this merger is coming up, so I wanted to kind of gradually get on there slowly. Now, luckily here, uh, there's no cars that are coming. And uh, so it was an easy merge onto a uh, 50 mile per hour zone here, and it took it real smooth. So that was a good job. And uh, now we're gonna zoom all the way down here for the next uh, about four and a half miles till we have a merge from this 50 mile per hour zone onto the main highway here in the area. Uh, that takes us up to 55 miles per hour. Now, um, again, you know, some of these roads, they're, you know, they're set at 50 miles per hour. Most people go 50, 55. Uh, on these back roads there. So this is set at 50 and it is holding 50 very, very well. Uh, so I'll leave it there and um, see how we do all the way to the highway. So let's get rock and roll.
right, so we're about 0.3 miles from the merge here on the main highway, and uh, we're coming up on it there. The you know, I was just telling my wife, uh, so so far 100% of this drive has been full self drive, no interruptions, no brakes, a um, little bit of the uh, acceleration there going from that um, 25 to or 40 mile an hour zone, uh, but nothing crazy now. Full self driving is going to get a little break here. Uh oh, maybe it's not actually because that red light, uh, the light there was red. Now it is green, and cars are now coming down the highway. But it sped up enough to where it was able to get in front of the traffic. So really smooth merger there. Um, yeah, I could have done probably any better myself to be honest with you. So uh, really did well. Got up on the highway going 55, and um, I'll set my speed here. And you can in the settings. Um. You can go in and set your uh, your speed offset, so you know you can raise it to go a little bit above the speed limit if you want to, um, or if you want to go a little bit below the speed limit. However, you want, you can set that in the screen there. As you can tell from all the cars around me, I'm going now 57 in this 55, and uh, and all the cars are blowing right by me. So as you can tell, uh, most people go well above the speed limit here. I'm usually somebody that sticks right around that speed limit or just a few ticks above there and sticks in the slow lane um, just because uh, a ticket's not worth an extra 25 seconds uh, to get somewhere quicker. So, uh, not to me at least. So, um, we're going to continue to cruise along here on the highway and, uh, and we'll see. What, we're going to have a left turn here in about two and a half miles. And so, this, uh, this highway, highway will turn into a three lane highway um, here in just a little while. Uh, but again, it's not like it's a super, super populated area around here. And so uh, there's not a ton of people that drive on the highway, even though it's uh, 530. So quote unquote, could be rush hour in a lot of cities and stuff. Um, but here it's really not that busy. So it probably will have no issue getting over to the left lane once it gets up to about probably half a mile or so from the turn and then getting into that left lane to, uh, to make a turn. So we'll see how it does. We're gonna speed the footage up again and uh, we'll come back to you in just a few minutes. So you probably saw that on the camera footage there, uh, but just a second ago, uh, right around 0.4 miles from our left-hand turn, it did take the opportunity to get over to the furthest left lane here. Now it's not that big of a um, it's not that big of a, a highway or anything, so it really didn't have that much uh, problem getting over. Now this is an interesting turn because this turn is across uh, the highway here in traffic. Um, and traditionally, uh, there is a ton of traffic sitting at this, uh, this little turn here, so which it is. Uh, now, traditionally, for me, I usually go up. There's a stoplight about 0.2 miles up ahead um, that you can get in the left lane and get a green arrow most of the time there. So kind of interesting that it decided to take this turn with a stop sign with cars in this lane instead of going up to the stoplight ahead and uh, both of them are basically about the same distance because you get on this road and then go straight and the other road connects to this uh, this road that we're heading straight on. So kind of interesting, um, but it looks like we're gonna get a break anyways because they got a red light up at the, the highway uh, entrance. So we're, we should be fine. Now I did stop and um, it cut right across there. So no problems at all uh, getting across the road there. So good job there. Um, but just kind of interesting that it took that route instead of going up to the, uh, the red light and taking the turn there. Um, so now we're gonna continue on. Now this is uh, 25 miles an hour the rest of the way. We're only 0.5 miles from our destination. Uh, but when we get there, we should be able to have the opportunity to then choose where the car parks and it should back into a parking space here for us. Um, so I can show you that. So let's uh, ride this next uh, 0.4 miles out and, uh, and then we'll see you in just a second when, uh, when we come to park. All right, so we're getting to the left lane here to get over and, uh, and to pull into the parking lot here. 
Uh, now this is a uh, just a left lane in front of one lane, uh, left turn right in front of just one lane of traffic. Um, now traffic does come pretty steady here, so uh, it's gonna take a shot here. Hey, I like it, that was a good job. I thought it would be a little scared, but no, it took a shot right there in front of that truck, which was good. Had plenty of distance and, uh, and did the right thing. So that's a really, really good job. Uh, by full self driving. Now, now we're in the parking lot here. Now let's see if it gives me opportunity to park in one of the parking spaces here. Um, let's see if it picks up the line um, for the parking spaces, and it did not. Uh, did not pick up the uh, pick up the lines there. So now I'm gonna have to pull over. Oh, there you go. And I got to park here, but I got a car behind me. So let's uh, let's hit the reverse here, and then let's pull it around and see if it will park. Um, the car here while uh, while I got somebody uh, walking up past me here as well so let's see if I can pick a parking spot here and and actually park here so I'm going to pick this one and I picked it and start all right so now we're in auto park here so now it's going to turn the light, turn signal on for some odd reason but we're in a parking lot so it thinks that there's more cars uh, but then it's gonna back me right into the parking space uh, which is good. I stopped a little bit because it's all a person, but that's okay. And back to right into the parking space. So pretty easy. So done. And we are parked and we're in park there. Parking brake set. So that's been a drive on full self driving 13.2.8. Um, really smooth. I, besides coming into the parking lot and then having to turn on auto park, I didn't need to do anything at all with the vehicle. So that was a really, really good job. 10 out of 10 for full self driving. And uh, we'll have some more videos that come out in the future as we, uh, we continue to work with full self driving. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next video.